the Pikeville City Police Department conducted a major drug roundup on Tuesday, July 26, with 21 arrests and 27 indictments. Mountain Top had the opportunity to ride alongside officers as they conducted these arrests. Well, what this is, this is the end result of a very extensive, several month long investigation into drug trafficking in our area. And what we're doing today is we are we're going out and apprehending the people that, that we brought charges against during this investigation. 20 plus, I mean, we're going, there's more than 20 that we're going to try to get today, and they're, they're all in and around the Paco area. We'll be, we'll be extending out past the city limits today, but all this investigation originated within the city limits of Paco, one way or the other, and, you know, people that deal drugs, they hop around a lot, they don't stay in one place, so, you know, we're having to go much further than, than just the city limits of Paco to, to make some of these arrests. The Pikeville City Police Department has been hard at work for many months planning this drug roundup, the second of its kind this year. Among drug paraphernalia, such as scales and pipes, they also found a firearm in the possession of a convicted felon during an arrest. If, if nothing else, it, it should put the people that's out there dealing drugs on notice that, you know, we do, we do know who they are. Uh, we're not going to overlook it. We will pursue them relentlessly until we bring charges on them. And especially here in the city of Pikeville where, you know, we're, our main place that we serve is, you know, we're just, we're not going to put up with it. It's been, a, it's been a great success. I know we're already into the double digits of, of people we've apprehended today, as well as have picked up more drug charges. You know, we've got, already got some, some guns off the streets that was in the hands of convicted felons. We've got more drugs off the streets. We've found that people are still trafficking drugs as we're there to arrest them for trafficking drugs. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great success already. It's all in our hands, this life of time that's given to us all. It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands. Experienced heart specialists and subspecialists collaborating for the benefit of your care. Top 10% national hospital rankings for patient safety in heart attack and heart failure treatment. The technology and skill to perform extraordinary complex, minimally invasive cardiac, electrophysiology, interventional and structural heart surgeries. This is the Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands. When it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. With the Allen shooting having taken place just weeks ago, the Pikeville City Police Department stressed caution above all else, emphasizing the importance of not being reckless during these arrests. Like in our briefing this morning, the, the number one thing is safety, you know, uh, safety of the officers, safety of the people that were taken into custody, you know, use good tactics, use your training, look out for each other, and, you know, the, the main thing is that everybody makes it back here safe and, and gets to go home with their families. Complacency is something that you never want to have, and, and after tragic event that like took place in Floyd County, yeah, we're more heightened and, and try to be more aware and, you know, uh, may even be packing extra safety equipment today. And, and we've got medics with us as well. Try to be as, it's all about being prepared. And we're as prepared as we can possibly be to, to get this job done today. You know, after something tragic like that, we're definitely more, uh, we try to be more aware and, and try to use good tactics. But I mean, at the end of the day, sometimes all the tactics in the world you know, can't help for, for what you might be walking into. The Pikeville Police Department takes a lot of pride in the work that it does to keep drugs and drug dealers off the streets. Many of the officers participating in the drug roundup volunteered, some of them missing out on sleep in order to pursue these suspects. Yeah, I mean, I can't put into words, you know, getting to be over uh, a group of such good guys and gals that are selfless all the time and some of them are sacrificing sleep. Some of them just got off work a few hours ago and are sacrificing sleep to be out here to get this job done. Yeah, I can't be more proud. Hard work, dedication, that's, that's what the Pikeville Police Department's all about. The Pikeville City Police Department conducted a successful drug roundup with many drug dealers and much drug paraphernalia being taken off the streets. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Dean.